Hello, Jacqueline. Am I muted? No. Hello, guys. How are you? How was your weekend, guys? Can you guys hear me? Yes. <laughs> Hello, Jacqueline. How are you? Hi. Well, I'm fine. You're you're in a different room today. That's <laughs> yeah. not that's not the usual room. <laughs> uh, yes. All right. Very good. Okay. Nice to see you. How how was your weekend? It was such a wonderful weekend. It was it was okay, right? Very good, right? Yes. Very very good. Okay. What about you, Ever? How was your weekend? Hi, Trader. Uh, fantastic. Very fantastic. Fantastic, like Fanta. Very good, right? It was fantastic. Good job. What about you? Uh, what about yours, Juan Francisco? How was your weekend? Uh, you're muted, sir. You are muted. Hello. Thomas. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. I can hear you loud and clear. So, yes. How was your weekend? Okay. My weekend, uh, I was easy. I have been sick. A dog. You, you have been? Okay. Very good. Okay. You, you've been sick? Yes. Oh, wow. I well, have two months sick. No, two months now. You've been, you've been sick for two months? Wow, why, man? What, what, do you, what do you get? It's a month, it's too long time. But it's week, two week only. Oh, okay, all right, very good. All right, man, all right, but I'm glad that you're here, man. Thank you for being here. All right, so everybody, welcome. Nice to see you, Rocio, Ricardo, Jimmy. Hello, I, um, yeah, I think I, my, my voice is back, you know. Kind of. I'm, I'm still sick, but it's it's much better than, than before, right? All right. Very good, guys. So uh, so let's let's continue, guys, where we left off last time. And where's everybody else? Hold on. Hold on, guys. I misspelled guys. All right, all good, guys. So let's go. Uh, so, guys, uh, you should have finished section number one by now. Who has not finished section number one? Uh, teacher. Tell me. Me, Francisco. What happened? Uh, uh, right now, I can work in this platform because. Pla platform, no platform. Platform. Uh huh? Because I have a problem with my connection to internet. Uh, okay, because you have a problem with your connection. Okay. I hope it's tar the tomorrow. Okay, all right. That that's okay. Okay, as long as you can finish it. But as soon as you do it, go ahead and send me the screenshot. Okay. Uh, who else, guys? Who else has not finished the platform? Okay, everybody else good. Okay. All right. Very good then. Um, this is it, yeah. Okay, guys. So, guys. So, so we learned about about uh, phrasal verbs last time, guys. Okay, and uh, we learned, you know, to say how how to make how to make requests, right? So, uh, we said, guys, okay, that the phrasal verb that we got here is what is the phrasal verb that you see here? It is. Turn. Turn. Turn off. off turn right. Off. Okay. Turn off. Okay. Turn All right. Off. All right. Close. Close is a verb, right? And you have take. Take out. out. Okay. Out. Very good. So guys, okay. So if you say, "Can you take this stereo off?" Right? Is that is that something that you would say to the president? Is that mm -hmm. how you you would request something to the president to, to the president? Maybe. Okay, maybe, right? I, I wouldn't, but maybe, maybe, right? But it's not definitely not not a yes, guys. Okay. So, guys, if you want to be extra polite, okay, if you want to be like, you know, if you want to be easy to the to the ears, okay, 
you can say, would you mind? Repeat, guys. Would you mind? Would, would, you, would, you, mind. would you mind? Okay, so you use would you mind plus a? Plus a what? Plus a? Gerund, okay? Jaren. Plus a gerund, okay? Would, would you mind, mind plus a gerund, okay? Okay, guys, so let's use... Let's use the same example that we got here, okay? So I want I want Jacqueline to turn off the stereo, okay? So how would I request that? How would I ask Jacqueline, Jacqueline to turn off the stereo? How would you say, guys? How would you ask Jacqueline to turn off the stereo? Can you turn the stereo? Okay, I mean, okay, but if you say, can you, hey, Jackie, can you turn off the stereo, right? <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> all right, I, want, <laughs> I want you, okay, so I want you to be polite, guys. Okay, I want to be like, really, really can I help polite. you? Can I help you? <laughs> all right, With your mind. With your mind, very good, okay. So what, what, so what happens to the verb, guys? Instead of saying turn, what, 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 how do you say it? Is um transform uh -huh, to drum. okay it transforms into a gerund right so would you mind turning turning off okay i don't know why they say uh, down here guys because you should say off okay so this is off guys okay so forget this okay i mean this is correct but this should say also down too right but it says off so would you mind turning the stereo off okay so see guys, it is the same thing guys. It's just that you're using the phrase, would you mind? What phrase are you using? Would you mind? Would you mind, mind. okay, would right. Mind. So now, the second example, it says, could you close the door please? So how do you say that in a more sophisticated way? Mr. Alan Javier Ardon Rivera de la O. Okay, huh? would you mind closing the door please? Would you mind closing the door, please? Okay, so what happened to the verb, guys? What happened to the verb close? Yes. yes. It's turning. It yeah, became a I gerund. Mean. Very good job. Okay, so it became a gerund. Very good. Okay. Gerund. Okay. All right. So uh, what about, what about, uh, would you please take your, gar your garbage, uh, your garbage out? So what happens here? No, notice something, guys. We're using would you, but we're using please at the end, okay? When you say, when you say would you please, you don't say, you don't use the verb in ing form, okay? Now, the reason why, guys, the reason why you use this in ing form, and, uh, you know, you, you use a gerund after saying would you mind is because of this, guys. Mind is a verb. This is a? Verb. Verb. This is a verb. So, <laughs> verb plus verb, what happens? You need gerund. Okay, uh, you, need, you need a? Okay, you need a gerund or an infinitive, right? Now, in this case, guys, okay. you're never going to use an infinitive here, okay? You can't say, would you yeah. mind to turn on? Okay, so you can never use an infinitive here, okay? All right, the only form of the verb that you can use here would be a gerund, right? Um, okay. All right, so let's get... Let's let's get some examples. Okay, if I say, uh, can you? I don't know. Think about think about el toxic or la toxica. What what can you ask el toxic or la, or la toxica? Can you shush? I, I don't know. Can you? <laughs> can, right, so, you can you delete? Can could you what, Jacqueline? Delete. Could you delete? Okay, could you delete those pictures, okay? Could you delete okay. those pictures, okay? Can you delete those pictures? That that sounds like that sounds like that is not the toxic go there. That sounds like it's the other way around. Can you, can can you, you delete share, those pictures, please? Can you can share, you share your your location? Can you share your location, right? A complete stalker, right? Very good. Can you share your location? All right. Good job. So if you say, can you delete those pictures? So how would you make this very fancy, guys? How would you ask this? Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Uh, deleting. Uh, deleting. 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 Deleting.
those pictures again. You can, okay, you can, you can add, please, perfect, right? You can, I, would you mind deleting those pictures, please, okay? Please. Or you can say, would you mind deleting, well, actually, no, that's, that's okay, right? Okay, would you mind deleting those pictures, please, right? All right, yeah. all right, La Toxica or Toxico wouldn't say like this. Oh, would you please delete those pictures? Right, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, very good, guys. Very, very good, okay? I think that you got the gist of it. All right, so uh, let's see the second part. So uh, so here we have an example, guys. Please turn off this area or turn this area off, right? So this becomes would you what? Would you mind turning, turning, turning the stereo? The stereo. Oh. Okay, would you mind turning the stereo off, okay? Beautiful, beautiful, okay? Now, guys, so models become more, fo more formal whenever we use these models, okay? These are called models, okay? Because they modify the verbs. So can, could, or would, guys, okay? So if you use can, all right, this is like, all right, this is like uh, stage one, right? This is stage one right here, all right? So this is this is formal, but not that formal, all right? Then we got stage two, okay? So stage two here, all right? Um, so, so stage two, guys, okay, that is more formal, all right? And even more formal, guys, is, all right? So this would be stage three, three right? Stage three, all right? Uh, excuse my handwriting, okay? I, I am using this pen, all right? <laughs> so it's, it's <laughs> don't worry don't worry teacher all right very good very good okay all right guys so those are okay so writing down in your notes guys okay so those are the models that we use okay so now you for example guys you can say all right let me use a bigger font here maybe 72 all right so i can say guys okay can can you, can you hear me, all right? Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. So this is kind of formal, yes? Yeah. All right. What if I say, could you hear me? Could you hear me? Is this, is this more formal? Yeah. Yes, okay. Would you mind hearing me? Is this more formal? Yeah. Yes. yes, guys, okay. All right, so think about this, guys. I think I, I, I just use it like this, okay? So when you use can, guys, this is like, all right, toxicos, okay? They don't really respect respect each other, right? Could, could is like when you go to the bank, okay? All right, could you please sign these papers, right? And would you mind hearing me? It's like when you go to... Uh, hotel guys okay all right got it so this is like okay this is like okay the more fancy you are i mean the faster the fancier you are you know uh the more polite you become okay all right guys so what is the structure write it down in your notebook we got a model what is a model guys what are the three models that we just saw okay can, can, can call and good, call and good very Ooh. good all right, plus a subject, okay, what is the subject? What is the subject? You. That would be, that you. Would be what? Okay, that would be you, very good job. Right? That would be you, plus the verb. Plus the verb, okay, would you, or can you open, right, or could you, all right, open, all right, you can also say, would you open, all right? Would you open the door, please, all right? Like this, would you open, right? Or in this case, if you wanna be extra really, you know, cheesy, you can say, would you mind opening the door or whatever, right? All right, guys, so we can use the ad, please, guys, at the end of the request when we're using could, or when we're using would, all right? Why do we do that, guys? We do these, okay, write it in your notebook, okay? 
to make emphasis. What do we use it? To make mm -hmm. emphasis, okay? To make good, emphasis. Very good, guys, very good. Okay, so right now, guys, right now, I'm gonna make you practice in groups and you're gonna have to make requests, okay? I, I wanna make, I wanna, uh, I want you to practice making requests using the three models that we, we saw right now, okay? So let's get started. Okay. No, Victor. Hello. No. How are you? I really fine. Okay. So we have to make requests with Ken, Cool, and Wolf. Cool and Wolf, yes. Okay, Victor, can you tell me the hour hours? I don't know the pronunciation hours. Come on, like. Horas en inglés, en español, sorry. Hours. How much hours do I was? Could you tell me? What time is it? What time is it right now? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's 11, 17 right now. Okay. Uh, can you in now i'm gonna use the cool cool could you uh, tell me how is the weather in your in your country the weather the weather okay the weather in my country is uh, really cold um a little uh i don't remember I don't know, how do you say viento? Wine. Wine. Okay, in my country is a little cold and, and a little wine. Okay, now is it. Okay. And another with wool. Wool do... Mine? Wool do... All right, mind? guys, I'm here. I went to get some water. Okay. All right, so let me hear you. Okay. Peter, uh, the, how do you say viento in English? I don't remember. How do you say what? Viento. Wind. 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 The, 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 the. Wind. Wind. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, Victor, <laughs> another <laughs> question. Very good. The question was, you could you tell me how is door? Okay. Can you open the door? I don't know. Sure. Uh, I'll go open the door. It? I'll go open the door right now. Hold on. <laughs> 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 okay, nice. Okay, teacher. All right, very good. Any questions, guys? Any questions? Um, no. All good. Uh, oh, oh, only one I told the um, this moment, but uh, but this is uh, exercise. Only okay. talk right now. With yes, my only yeah, only talking right now. Yes, yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay Leo. All okay, right. Uh, um, my story. Uh, and you use uh, uh, money. Money? What about money? Hello, Jocelyn. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, guys. All right, any questions, guys? Any questions? Teacher, always do you use uh, money with gold or something? So, so I mean, would, I mean, yes, if you say would you mind, I mean, would. Always use mind with go. 
Yeah, would you mind? Yes, if you say would you, you have to use mind. Okay, would you mind? You're gonna say would you bring me the soda? I mean, uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure if I am understanding your question, but would you mind is a phrase. Okay, think about it as a word, right? Would you mind is a whole phrase. It needs to be used like that. Would you mind plus a gerund. Now you can also say would because it's a model. It's a model, right? Would you bring you know, will you bring my tamales? Because I'm hungry and I'm a, I'm a fat soul, right? <laughs> All right, so you, were, you would you bring my tamales, okay? You can say that. that, that would be absolutely fine. All right, but in this case, we're using a phrase. I'll, the whole phrase is, would you mind, okay? So that's, that's, why, that's why it is like that. It's just a, Tell me. Uh, I can, I can use uh, uh, whatever subject in, in, in three, four, whatever, 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 whatever uh, subject, uh, you, we, they, he, she, it, with the three, yeah. three, three model verb. Yeah, yeah, yes, you, of course you can, yes. It's the same. Yes, it's okay. The same. Okay. Would she mind, you can say, would she mind, would she mind getting rid of those awful flowers? Would he mind getting rid of those awful flowers? Would I mind getting rid of those awful flowers? Would you mind getting rid of those awful, those awful flowers? Would they mind, right? It's the same. All right. Okay. So, uh, so you can use whatever sub subject you want. All right. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. All right. Good questions, though. Good questions. All right, we're going to... All right, So, bien, ¿verdad, Gary? Yes, maybe. Maybe what? <laughs> hey. Any, any question, girls? Any question? We're trying. Hey, hey, uh, Tatiana, what is that? What is that? Is that a shadow? Ah... Uh... <laughs> What is that? <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a shadow, but what is that? That's a big shadow. That's a hammock? Oh, okay, right. That's why. That's why I got it. All right, very good, very good. I right, continue then. If you have if you don't have any other questions, I'm gonna check on the rooms. Okay. okay. Good job. So we were we going to try where Take off. Would you mind giving me your password? Giving me your pencil, please. Mm -hmm. Would you mind giving me your pencil, please? Can you use it that, Mr. Yes, you can say, would you mind giving me your pencil? That is absolutely correct. And that uh, it needs another word, another we, we, we share. Can you do your homework? Okay, can you do your homework? Yes. Uh, can can you, you do your homework is, is correct, yes. Could you do your homework? Could you do your homework is also correct. Yeah, would you mind doing, mind your, doing homework? your homework, please? Yes, that is perfect. Okay. Perfection. Very good. Okay, so, you got it, guys. You guys are good. Yeah. yeah. All right, ready to be teachers already. <laughs> Are we going to oh. go back now? Ah, but it's, it's nice, a cool idea. What? A cool idea. A cool idea. A cool idea. Hey, talking about cool. Isn't it supposed to be raining? It's really hot. Today is super yeah. hot. Yeah, it's super hot. Okay, okay. It's crazy. Like, I'm melting today. I want to take a shower already. Like, another yeah. shower. All right, very good. All right. All right, guys. So, um, so the only thing that we're missing here, guys, is this. Okay, the structure, guys, of would you mind, okay? And by the way, guys, very good job. So you guys, you guys you got, you got the idea. All right, so uh, write down the structure, guys. We use would you mind, that's gonna be would plus gerund plus a verb plus a complement, okay? So an example would be, 
would you, okay, would, actually, this is wrong, guys, because you should say, would you mind plus a gerund, okay, because you can, guys, I'm sorry, you don't, do me a favor, do not get confused with this, okay, this is not would plus a gerund, this is incorrect, okay, all right, this is no go, okay, all right. Uh, this should be, guys, okay, would you mind, okay, would you mind, plus a gerund, plus a verb, actually plus, plus a gerund, guys, okay, all right, uh, plus a compliment, plus a question mark, okay, all right, so, an example, you already, you were already giving me an example. So who can give me an example here? Uh huh? All right, let's will see. You, will you mind taking up the trash? Very good. Okay, so you can say, okay, you can say, all right, would you mind taking out the trash? Okay, would you mind taking out the trash? Very good job. All right, guys, so we're going to do something real quick, guys. Everybody, everybody's going to give me an example in five seconds, okay? If you cannot answer in five seconds, I'm going to move on. Ooh. You ready? We're ready. All right, so let's start with Jorge Lopez, because you're the first one that, is, that I see him, right? Jorge. Right. Go. Would you, would you mind dancing with me? Would you mind dancing? Would you mind dancing with me? Very good. All right, walk up for Jorge. Good job, Jorge. Leo, let's go. Leo, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, <laughs> Alan, let's go, Alan. Hey, would you mind giving me your pencil, please? Would you mind giving me your pencil? Good job, one club for Alan. Jacqueline, give me another one. Sure. Would you mind uh, lending me money, please? Lending me money, okay. <laughs> All right, very good. So nice. Raul, give me another one, Raul. <laughs> uh, would you mind playing soccer with me? Playing, okay, playing soccer with me. Beautiful. Okay, Eduardo, give me another one. Would you mind closing the door? Closing the door. Good job. Okay, uh, Anna, give me another one. Uh, would you mind? Would, not good. Would. Would, would ah. you mind? Would. Ooh, it's, a, it's an ooh. Would. Would. There you go, huh? Would you mind uh, having dinner tonight? Having dinner tonight. Very good job. I like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to buy dinner, go ahead. All right, I'm here. All right, Jimmy, let's go. <laughs> Would you mind paying, paying me the money, please? <laughs> pay me the, pay me what the you owe me, okay? Pay me what you owe me, please. Okay? <laughs> All right. All right, very good. All right, Marco, let's go, Marco. Would you mind cooking a chicken, please? Cooking a chicken, okay? <laughs> Why are you talking, where are you thinking about chicken, man? All right, cooking chicken, actually. Cooking chicken, right? Cooking chicken, please, chicken. right? All right, very good. All right, uh, Carla, Gabriela, let's go. Would you mind working at night? Working at night, good job. Juan Francisco, go. Mind making your bed, please? Would you mind making, okay, making your bed, please? Very good. Ever Campos, let's go. Would you mind talking about this problem, please? Okay, right. Would you mind talking about this problem, please? Is, is your wife there? <laughs> Just kidding, ever. All right, very good, very good. Okay, all right. Uh, Tatiana, let's go, Tatiana. Uh, would you mind walking out with me? Okay, would you mind walking out with me? Good job. Raul, let's go, Raul. Uh, would you mind eating with me? 
it in with me or okay good job victor let's go victor uh would you mind hanging out with me hanging out with me okay good job uh alan let's go alan would you mind eating this cake please <laughs> i don't mind man bring it on man bring it here eating this cake please okay all right very good all right, Jocelyn, Jocelyn, let's go, Jocelyn. Would you mind um, wait, running wait. Uh -huh. in the morning running in the morning with me? Okay, would you mind running in the morning with me? Yeah, of course, because Alan's going to give me a cake, right? And then I'm going to go run. <laughs> All right, good job. Uh, Maria, let's go, Maria. Would you mind? Would you mind staying at home with your family? Staying at home with, very good, with your family. Good job. All right. Uh, Lino Guardado, let's go. Would you mind eating Mexican food tomorrow? Oh, the Mexican food. I think I'm going to go out and buy some Mexican food today. <laughs> yes, there is like a, there is like, so there's a place here where they, they sell burritos near where I live. So it's just going to, yeah, I might get some burritos. All right, very good. All right, not so, no, it's not like a lack. It's, they are not open right now. It's like, you know, street food, you know? Okay. Very good. Carne okay. chucho, right? Very good. All right, so, uh, Esther, yeah. Let's, yeah, Esther, let's go, Esther. Will you mind washing the clothes? Washing the clothes. Okay, very good again. Okay. I don't like doing that, guys, so that's why I have a washing machine. All right, very good. Uh, Raul, who's missing? No, who's missing? Who's missing? Who's missing? Ricardo, Ricardo. Let's go, Ricardo. Ricardo? Hello. Huh? I'm here. Sorry, I lost the sign in. It's okay. It's okay. Would you mind? Five. Four, three, Sorry. two, one. Okay, Ever Campos, would you mind? Ever, five. Hi. Oh, you already gave me one example, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, would you mind lend me five dollars, please, for Lending tomorrow? Five dollars <laughs> for tomorrow. Okay, good job. All right, guys, so. Very good. I, I, I don't know if I miss anyone, guys, uh, but uh, good job. Leo, all right, you want to try it, Leo? Okay. Uh, would you mind giving me a box? <laughs> what? Would you mind giving me? Oh, give me a box. Okay. Give me, give me a, a box. box. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. That's, that's good. I, I was just wondering, like, why, why a box? What's up? Right? <laughs> very good, guys. Very, very, very good. Okay. All right. Is it clear, guys? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. very good. So we're going to continue, guys. That is, was that the end of the section number one? <clears throat> okay, guys, so I do need you guys to do me a favor. Uh, I need you to complete section number one, like, completely, guys, okay? All right? Yeah. Uh, so you're going to do exercise 1.9 and take a screenshot, and you're going to do also the reading exercise, okay? Uh, please send me screenshots, guys, because we need to finish section number two this week, okay? So we have until Friday. Uh, we're actually, we need to finish it, like, we have, we need to reach section, see? Yeah, actually, like, kind of two and three, guys. So uh, we need to we need to step it up, guys, okay? So finish, finish one, guys, okay? So there is one knowledge check. And right now, guys, we are going to jump into section number two. Right. No one second here. How do you how do you feel with the understanding of the subject so far, guys? Do you think that it is understandable? Yeah. All right. Yes, it is, right? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, guys. So all right now this one guys is kind of similar to what we saw regarding gerunds. Let me just pull this up here.
Hold on. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna see you guys. Jerons and Infinities, okay? But we're gonna see Jerons and Infinities, Infinities for uh, uses and purposes, okay? What do I mean by this is, all right, we talk about instructions. Uh, this sounds, guys, let me, let me ask you something. Didn't we see this with you? Or was it with another, with another class? No, we haven't seen, you have, have you seen, have, have we seen these guys? Have I explained to you that we use these for steps? No? I don't remember. No. No, right? Okay, all right. Very good, right? I might be getting confused with another class, guys, okay? All right, very good. All right, guys. So, anyways, okay. So, yes, guys, we do this to give instructions, okay? So, basically, guys, all right. First off, okay, what is an infinitive? Who can tell me what an infinitive is? What is it? Uh huh. Guys, an infinitive is two plus a verb. All right, that's it, guys. Okay. I like to eat. I like to cook. I like to drive. I like to whatever, whatever I like to. That is a, an infinitive. So, what is an infinitive, guys? Two plus a verb. Okay, two plus a verb. Very good job. Okay. All right. Now. All right. I what is it? Question. Tell me. Sorry. That's okay. when we talk about ourselves. For example, a little presentation. We use an infinitive. For example, for uh, for talking about my hobbies or my. I don't know. For example, I like to read or I like to dance, you something can, like that. Yeah, I I understand. Uh, you, you can use both. You can use uh, you can use a gerund, a gerund, or you can use an infinitive. So you can say I like to dance or I like dancing. I like to eat or I like eating. All right. Uh, it depends okay. on the verb too. You know, not not all verbs are interchangeable like that, but. In most cases, you can use it with uh, with both of them, you know, with okay. infinitives or gerunds. Okay, good question. All mm -hmm. right, so a gerund, guys, is its verb, right? It's its verb. Uh, it's it's the verb, you know, in its base base form, right? Verb being ing. Okay. All right, is it clear what what is the difference between an in infinitive and, and a gerund? Yes. Yes, oh. sir. Very good, very good. Okay, so that is the that that is the difference. Okay, <coughs> so first of guys, I use my computer to send emails. So basically, guys, the what we're gonna learn today, what we're gonna learn today is this. Okay, so we're gonna learn to answer what one question. What do you use? All right, insert the noun here. All right, I'm gonna put it like insert. Now, here, right? Insert, what do you use? Insert down here for, okay? Because. So, what do you use a computer for? What do you use a computer for? What do you use your cell phone for? Whatever. I, I'm sorry, ask me. Teacher, I remember the cl this class is the, the class for another. <laughs> we practice this. Yes, yes. Uh, but it's not. Uh, uh, very clear like now it's not the one think. no but it's it's different yes guys because I, I do remember but this is section two we have not done section two all right we were okay. still doing we were still doing section one so it's similar it's yeah it's it's similar but uh but yes we have seen something like this i was explaining i think it was like i'm not sure if it was last uh it, if it was last module, guys, I think it was during the last module. We saw like making a making a sandwich. Do you remember that? Oh, okay, I right? remember. Yeah. Right. Okay, that was in the last module, not this one. Okay. 
Okay. So yeah, I was I was confused too, guys, because because it's like pretty much the same, right? Okay, so very good, guys. So it's good because you have an idea now, okay? So this answers the question: What do you use? All right, whatever for, okay? So what do you use your computer for? What do you use your laptop for? Et cetera, et cetera, okay? All right, guys. So let's move on. All right. Um, so there are two examples, guys. I use my computer to send emails. I can say exactly the same using a gerund. Now, what is the difference? What What do I say? How do I say the same thing using a gerund? How do I say I, I use my computer to send emails, but using a gerund? Hmm? There, ing. Okay. Using. You use it with the uh, with the gerund, right? So mm -hmm. I use my computer for sending emails. Okay. Now notice something, guys. Instead of saying two, these uh, this changes to um to four. Okay. So it changes to four, and whenever you will use the preposition for, guys, we have to use the verb in ing. We have to use it in. And what? In ing, okay. All right. Moving on. Oh, okay. So moving on, guys. Okay. So, first of all, guys, what do they have in common? What do they have in common, Rocio? When they are used to, uh, for example, it's on the screen. Or two. Okay. To express use and purpose, meaning of use and purpose doesn't change. Okay. Or change. Very good job, guys. So, to express uses and purposes, okay? The meaning of use and the purpose doesn't change. What does that mean, guys? If I say, you know, if I say, um, I use my computer uh, to call people, is the same as saying I use my computer, I mean, I use my cell phone for calling people. It is completely the same. Is that is that idea clear? Yes? Mm -hmm. All right, very good, okay? So I use yeah. my computer. I use my cell phone to call people. It's the same as saying I use my computer for calling people, okay? okay. All right, beautiful. Let's, let's move on to the next one. All right, now, yeah, um, so the structure, guys, I kind of give you the structure already, but, okay, so uh, the structure for an infinitive, guys, okay, is what I said before. So I gave you the structure already, guys. When you use an infinitive, you use two plus the verb. The verb in what tense, guys? In the past, the past participle, or what? Yeah. Okay. In All right. Base in form. base form, okay? So I use my cell phone to call my friends. Okay, so uh, I want you to give me more examples, guys, okay? Using, using you know, the things that you use, uh, you, the things that you, that, that you usually use, okay? All right, so Jimmy, okay, tell me, what do you use your cell phone for? Give me an example with an infinitive, not with a gerund, just just an infinitive. Infinitive, okay. Um, I use my uh, using the um, you know. Uh, the noun cell phone? Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> I use my cell phone to call my mom. <laughs> I use my cell phone to call my mom. Very good job. All right, Eduardo Torres, what do you use your cell phone for? I use my cell phone and, and we, I use to, my cell phone to, mm -hmm. Call uh, my daughter. Very good job. Ever, what does your girlfriend or wife use your use her cell phone for? I use my cell phone to. Uh, no, listen, listen to the question. What does your girlfriend or wife use her cell phone for?
You you are muted. You're muted. She used uh -huh. her cell phone. She used okay. Yes. So she, she used, used mm -hmm. her cell phone uh -huh. to text with me. To text me, okay. All right. What is wrong here, uh, Ever? What is wrong here? My God, that's a loud, <laughs> that's yeah. a loud, that's a loud rooster. <laughs> she uses yes. her cell phone. She, she uses, yes. right, very good. It is in third person, right? She uses her cell phone to text me. Good job. Uh, Tatiana, what does your best friend use her car or his car for? Repeat the question. All right. What does your best friend use his or her car for? Car. Yes. Um, my ba best friend. Uses. Uh, uh, uses. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Your her car? His car. Well, it could be her car because I don't know if it's a male friend or a female friend. Mm -hmm. Is that a she or a he, Tatiana? She. Okay, that's a she, okay? So that's her car, huh? Her car um, to yeah. get uh, her work. To get to her Okay, to, to get to her job, you mean, okay? Or okay, to get to her workplace, okay? All right, very good, guys, okay? Now, guys, all right, is, is, is it clear, guys? Is the infinitive form of the verbs clear? Yes? yes? All right, very good. So now, guys, what about gerunds? It's exactly the same, guys, okay? Now, what do you use, guys? What do you do? All right, so what do you use your cell phone for? Uh, Jocelyn, what do you use your cell phone for? But now, this time, you're going to use a gerund, okay? And I use my cell phone and for sending the messages. For sending messages, okay? For sending messages to El Toxico, okay? Let's go like that, okay? So, for sending messages <laughs> to El Toxico. Okay. All right, very good, very good, okay? So, I use my cell phone for sending messages to El Toxico, okay? Very good, okay? Who'd like to give me another example, guys? What do you use your cell phone for, right? But don't say, all right, don't don't say, don't give me the same examples. Give me another one. So who'd like to tell me, uh, give me a message, uh, message? I mean, give me an example. <laughs> me, teacher. Who'd like to send me a message right now? Who'd like to, all right, go, go for it. Whoever sent me, teacher. I use me, my cell phone for taking a picture. Okay, oh, okay. Uh, okay, hold on. I use my cell phone. <laughs> We're taking pictures, okay? All right, uh, whoever said me teacher, okay? Rosie, I think that you okay. want to Okay, I use my cell phone for uh, making videos. For making videos, right? For making TikToks, right? <laughs> making videos, right? Okay, very good. I use my cell phone for making videos. Okay, what else, guys? Me what teacher. else? Go for it. I, I use my cell phone for listen favorite music for listening guys listening for listening to my favorite music okay i i okay all right so i use my cell phone for listening to my favorite music all right well done guys well done okay good job guys okay and that is the gist of it all right that will that's what we use infinity and gerunds guys for purposes and uh for well for for usages and purposes okay all right guys so uh you have uh, i want you guys to complete this before the class tomorrow so you have to finish you have to send me the screenshots from section one guys and this one okay section two i mean exercise 2.2 is going to be completed before you come to the class tomorrow okay all right, 
and we're going to talk about syllable stress. But before we do that, guys, okay, let's do a small practice. I'll give you five minutes, guys, to practice um, this question, okay? So I want you to ask your, your partner, what do you use, okay? What do you use, right? And you're going to use a noun here for, okay? What do you use your whatever for, okay? What, yeah, I don't know, guys. What do you use your, your boyfriend for or your girlfriend for? I don't know, right? Whatever you want to ask, okay? All right, we good? So, what do you use your cell phone for? What do you use your computer for? What do you use your TV for? What do you use whatever, okay? All right. Is it clear on what we're going to do right now, guys? Yes, clear. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's go. Hello, Jocelyn and Carla. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, Carla, uh, what do you use your... Um, your... <laughs> your computer for? <laughs> uh, I... <laughs> And don't stand the <coughs> car or or a motorcycle. A motorcycle. I <laughs> I don't know. This is a word. I'm not sure. All right. So, what do you use? You can ask what do you use your car for. You can ask what do you use your cell phone for. What do you use your PlayStation for? I don't know, right? Hey, what yeah, do you use yeah. your PlayStation for? I use my PlayStation I for... I use my PlayStation to play in the FIFA. For, for, for playing, playing, playing FIFA. FIFA, okay. okay. Do you really, okay, do, okay. You have a, do you have a PlayStation? Hmm. Leo, do no. you have a PlayStation, no? No, no. No, okay. <laughs> don't have, <laughs> don't have PlayStation. <laughs> Okay, right. Victor, All right. right. Tell us about you, Victor. <laughs> I don't have it because I, I play with my cell phone. Okay, so what do you use your plate your, your cell phone for? I use my cell phone for playing uh what is the name of dog name? Let me see a card class of plan. Okay, Clans. okay, Clash of Clans. Clans. Yes. <laughs> all right, all right, very good. All right, continue, continue, continue. I, I use, what do you use your, your glasses for? <laughs> I use my glasses for huh? watching TV and reading. Reading? What, reading? Reading. Reading. Oh, reading. reading. Okay, reading. Reading. I thought you said breathing. Like, you know, no. like. <laughs> no. No. I can, I can breathe without my glasses. I can breathe without my glasses. <laughs> yeah. No. So, no. okay, that's the on infinity, right? Yes. Okay. The other form no, is. That, that is in Jerome. Yeah, that is in Jerome, right? Yeah. Four. The other form it was I use my classes to watch TV and read. Okay. Okay, that's good. So you need to what do you use your do you have one of these? No, I don't have Do you have one. you don't have a teddy bear? Really? I don't have. Yes. Okay. Really? Yes. Hey, okay. ask ask to me. <laughs> <laughs> ask me, ask me. Uh, do you have a teddy bear? Yeah, I have it. <laughs> it's, okay. it's not my it's from my it's from my But you have to ask what do you use the for my daughter? For? <laughs> what ah, okay. do you use your teddy bear? 
Your teddy bear. Four. 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 Okay. Okay. I use. I use this teddy bear uh, for a uh, entertaining. I can use that verb. No. Yeah, okay. you can. Yeah, I mean. To playing, to playing, to playing with my daughter. Okay, for playing Sometimes. with my daughter. For playing with. For my play, daughter. for playing with my daughter, right? Yes. 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 It's on Jaren, right? Yes, that's oh, a Jaren. Yes. yes, in Jaren. In infinitive, I use this teddy bear to play. Yes, you can say I use I use this. Oh my God! Yes, I use that to play with my daughter. <laughs> to play with my daughter, yeah. Sometimes I squeeze. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sometimes. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Sometimes. All right. Okay. We're, we're going to go back now, guys. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, guys. So that's it for tonight, guys. Okay. Um, it was interesting, guys. No. You guys are getting you guys are getting the hang of it. Oh yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's cool being with you guys. You know, I wish we could do. We something have two minutes. No, no, <laughs> just kidding. I wish I wish we could do something oh, more fun together, guys. Because I really, you know, I really like you guys. You guys are cool. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm like really really tired now. <laughs> I always say six. I've been working dude since since seven a.m. like nonstop. So I'm like really really tired right now. Yeah. Um, anyways, guys. So don't worry. It, it was good, guys. That you understood. Another me. beer. Please, yeah, another beer, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, so please, guys, send me the screenshots of the section one and complete the first exercise from section two, and we're gonna move on um, with section two tomorrow. Okay. All right, guys, and that's it for tonight. It's been a pleasure seeing you guys. You have a very lovely night. Okay, thank teacher. You. Good night. Yeah, thank, thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.